the edge of the solar system is a blob. 3D map reveals solar wind repels 70% of cosmic radiation. However, it doesn't protect every side of the solar system equally. At the edge of the solar system is a violent frontier where two cosmic powers clash. On one side is the solar wind, the constant flood of hot charged particles flowing out of the sun at hundreds of miles per second. On the other side are the winds of space blowing with the radiation of billions upon billions of nearby stars. Despite causing occasional blackouts here on the earth, solar wind actually does a pretty good job of defending our planet from the harshest interstellar radiation. As the wind gusts out of the sun in every direction, at once it forms an enormous protective bubble around the solar system that ripples about 70% of incoming radiation. Earth's magnetic shield protects us from much of the rest. This bubble is known as heliosphere and its edge which is called as heliopause marks a physical border where the solar system ends and interstellar space begins. Unlike most borders on earth, scientists have no idea how big it is or what it looks like. A new study published in June 10 in Astrophysical Journal tackles these mysteries with the first 3D map of heliosphere ever created. Using 10 years of data captured by NASA's Interstellar Boundary Explorer satellite, the study authors tracked solar wind particles as they traveled from the sun to the edge of the solar system and back again. From this travel time, the team calculated how far the wind had blown in a given direction before being repelled by interstellar radiation. Allowing the researchers to map the invisible edges of the solar system similar to the way bats use echolocation, the researchers said. As the team map shows, the heliosphere doesn't exactly stay true to the sphere part of its name. The barrier around the solar system is more of a wibbly wobbly blob that's far thinner on one side than on the other. That's because just as our planet orbits the sun in a set direction, the sun orbits the center of the Milky Way pushing headlong against the interstellar wind that crosses the sun's path. In this windward direction, the, direction fr the distance from the sun to the edge of the heliosphere is considerably shorter than it is in the opposite direction. that is about 120 astronomical units that is 120 times the average distance from earth to the sun facing the wind versus at least 350 astronomical units in the opposite direction why at least that amount because 350 astronomical units is the distance limit of the team's wind mapping method The heliosphere could potentially extend much farther behind the solar system than it appears on the team's map, meaning that protective bubble could be even blower than it seems here. Like bats in a cave, we will have to fly even deeper into the darkest to figure that out. If you are new to the channel, Please subscribe my channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell icon so that you will get the notification of my next video. Thank you for watching.